Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is the Amazon Basics 16-piece punch and chisel set. Now right now this thing is $14.35 on Amazon, and I thought, you know, I've got to see what this thing is. I've done other stuff with uh, punches and chisels. I prefer the snap-ons, obviously, but I did some with Swan Lake. But anyway, I thought I'd test this out since it's less, a, less than a buck a piece. Um, you got two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 14, 15, plus a guide is 16. I'd count the uh, case here as 17, but, um, and this little guide, this is really similar to the snap-on one. If you look at this, that's kind of how they build these things. wonder if they're the same. Uh, it's just a piece of aluminum. I have a bunch of these snap-ons because I would use them when I was buying snap-on tools uh, online or during COVID because I needed some inexpensive item. Right now this is $2.80 on the Snap-on website, but I needed some inexpensive item to just, you know, maybe knock me over whatever their limit or their threshold was for free shipping. So, you know, I'd always keep one of these in my cart and then maybe I get two of them because I needed something that was, when I was getting them, they were like a dollar twenty-five. You know, just that little little bump. But anyway, um, so this is the the Amazon Basics version. So I gave uh, three of these a run for the money. I, I took this one out for a spin, this one, and this guy here. Uh, I If you look at these, you've kind of got these these conical shaped ones, these these roll pin flat ones pop one of these out as long as these things are hardened properly you know so they don't shatter you're probably okay um, but you know they might bend on you and that's what I've discovered so first of all I took out the the smallest one and and used it and it bent fairly easily um, of course you can always straighten these back up Let's see what this is branded. Use safety goggles, chrome vanadium. Um, but this was pretty weak, so I went to the next one. Was a little rougher with it, and as you can see, it responded accordingly. Um, this, okay, well, let's take a closer look. You're seeing a little bit of mushrooming right away, and then where this bent is, it. you can see right here, this is the primary bending point. So it is actually a weaker design than say a snap-on or something, because it's at, this this part was um, inside the uh, the thing I was using or I was um, applying force to, so it started bending back here. Uh, I if you are bending these larger ones, um, you know then there's really a problem maybe with what you're doing. I don't know. Um, I took this chisel out for a spin. Um, you can kind of see the same thing here, use safety goggles. And what I did, here's an example, is I first uh, I put it on, over on a, a piece of, or on a vise actually, a little platform, and started whaling on it, and it didn't cut through this washer. So then I gave it uh, in this piece, use a little punch here to show you. So then I started here where there would be an already a cut and it didn't open and then I basically set up an experiment this is the Amazon basics this is a snap-on right here so you can see the snap-on went all the way through the Amazon basics did not it just flattened out on the back side and I was using pretty much you know as much as I could control you know the hitting the striking with my hammer the same force. The snap-on cut through pretty fast. The Amazon Basics, I don't know if it's going to go through. So that's kind of sad. So here's a closer look at those two chisels. Obviously this is the snap-on here. Both half inch. These, by the way, as you notice, uh, are not marked by the, with the size. Here's the side view. So the snap-on's much more robust. You can even see there's a little bit of a nick there. There's the cutting edge. Line those two up. Snap on. I mean, I, I use this thing all the time. I love it. That half inch size is great. But anyway, 
see if you can see. What happened was I just banged on it and banged on it and looked, banged on it and banged on it, nothing. And then the same snap on cut right through. So uh, there's a definitely a big difference, but the price of a snap on set, um, you know, is in the hundreds of dollars versus $14. So if you aren't going to use them much and you don't mind, they are pretty rough. You can see they're not finished very well. I don't know. I'm not even sure if this is black oxide or if they just maybe painted them because it looks like it's wearing off already. Uh, they are super cheap, but sometimes you just need it. You know what? This worked. It did. This did the job I asked it to. Um, it might be sacrificial, but you know, for the price of something like this, I'm not encouraging you to have junk tools. But if you don't have a full set, a nice set of tools for most jobs, and a lot of them don't require a ton of force. There are those jobs that do, but most don't. So if you actually need really good stuff, you already know that and you can already go get it. But if you want just regular, you know, inexpensive punches, a whole set of them for 14 bucks, yeah, this is probably worth having. And then if you do end up messing them up and you can't straighten them, now you know what you need and you can buy either individual punches or chisels that fit what you do a little bit better and higher quality. Um, or there are tons of individual ones for not much money should you need to replace one. But anyway, then this thing, it all rolls up. Let it show you what it's like. Let's see, wherever this guy came from, right there. Yeah, I mean, you can see where they cut corners, but here we go. There it is. There is a long Velcro strap here. So you can cinch that thing, whoops, cinch it all up. And throw it in your toolbox. And there it is. And with that, dock out.